Hello everyone, this is Menz here, playing the Tier 4 German Premium Heavy Tank, the PZB2. There's a bunch of other letters and numbers in the name, but pretty much people call it the PZB2. Uh, being a Tier 4 Premium does have preferential matchmaking. You will only see Tier 4 tanks, which is pretty nice, and kind of neat it because the gun on it is a Tier 2 gun, and Basically, your penetration is right around, I think it's 55 for the AP shell, and you bump it up to 90 millimeters for the APCR. But the APCR is cheap enough to where you can pretty much fire it, and as long as if you do a decent amount of damage, you're not really going to lose any credits, because you do make quite a lot of credits for a Tier 4 premium in this thing. Now, it does have decent mobility, although compared to most other Tier 4s and Tier 3s that you face, it is a little slow and the armor on it 60 millimeters all around except for the back 55 millimeters there are a few weak spots um, that are less than 60 millimeters but overall the armor is pretty solid Los Gates. Um, being in counter I'm not going to go over to the flag I think enough people will go over there I'm actually going to try to get into H1 since I should have just enough mobility to get over there without um, taking too much damage. I want to get a little bit closer because this thing does play better when you fight closer to people. Further away your .39 accuracy and lack of penetration um, really hampers your ability to, to actually do any damage to people. PZ4, believe it or not, it, it's kind of hard to penetrate in this thing. Now I'm not gonna... Oh, maybe if they keep coming. Didn't want to go around that way. So, since I have a lot of HP, decent amount of armor, I'm just gonna push right on through these people. Let's take out this T40 though, he's kinda scary with his gun. I don't want to be caught in front of him, so I'm going to wait for that Covener to spot him. Eh, good, we have a side shot in this guy. But the M3 Lee, while it doesn't have overwhelming armor for a tank like this, um, you do struggle a bit against it. I set him on fire. But you definitely don't want to be in front of an M3 Lee. I was lucky that he was moving fast because he can pretty much go right through my armor and he has a lot of DPM. He can really kill me quickly, but with him just charging right at me instead of staying far away where I couldn't hurt him, or pretty much any of us couldn't hurt him from range. He really did himself in there. But the best feature of this tank 
is its preferential matchmaking. Being limited to tier 4 max, you'll never be in the bottom or the middle, you'll always be the top tank. And while its gun isn't the best for a tier 4 heavy tank, it's just enough to where it's not a huge downside, it's just a minor inconvenience since instead you'll have to spam a bit of APCR out to do damage regularly. But even though the mobility is good for a heavy tank, um, as you notice everyone's outpacing me here and pretty much when your team's doing very good or if you need to get to a spot where you need it, this isn't exactly the best tank for that since its mobility is low for the low tier matches that you're in. But overall, pretty decent game. As you see here, the most amount of damage is under a thousand, which you can rack up a lot of damage in this thing, unless if you aren't using APCR. And even without the mission here, still made a pretty good profit without the mission. Not a huge profit, but I fired quite a lot of APCR, so that really cuts into it. But as you see here, let's see. APCR is 800 credits per shot, which isn't a lot for a premium shell, but for the amount of damage you do, um, I think it's 52, yeah, 52 damage. Um, it is pretty expensive for the amount of damage that you do, but it's low enough to where it doesn't hurt into your profit too much unless if you only fire APCR. In that case, you'll more or less break even or lose a little bit. However, as you see here, I carry mostly AP. I carry a bit of Ichi just to chuck at people when I'm not really aiming and I'm far away. I'd rather just throw Ichi at them than waste APCR or just bounce off of them with AP most of the time. And for equipment, I run ventilation to improve the reload time a little bit and a bunch of other little stats. Code optics to buff the crappy view range. And for the third slot, I haven't put anything in it yet just because there's not something like a gun rammer, but the aim time being 1.1, it's useless to put that on. You could put the track um, enhanced, enhanced leaf springs to help out the durability a little bit, so you're not tracked as much if you don't have any crew skills, or a heavy spall liner, which does hurt the mobility, but it helps you against artillery and everything like that. But overall, it's a pretty solid tank, it's just not really on sale much. Um, as far as the North American server, and I think the other servers, it's not on sale um, as much as other tanks. Don't really know about the Russian server though. But anyway, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, wotguru.com.